Cool. All right, so I just saved or it auto saved or whatever, and when it does that, it's going to hop out of edit uh, topology mode. Something to be aware of. All right, so we'll go ahead and make this a polymesh 3D. Tap the A key, hop back over to the main tool. We will append our new geo. Tap the A key to go back to the editable uh, topology and hit delete topo. Scroll down to the bottom, and here we go. So this one you can see it's it's uh, inverted. So we'll just do a mirror and weld, and then flip so I can see what's going on. We'll go ahead and hit C modeler, and we'll just do a Q mesh, poly group all, and Shift F to turn on the poly frame, and then do a flip on that. And I'm going to go ahead and show all the rest of the geometry now that I'm not trying to figure out what's happening. Uh, let's see, I'm going to hide my main old bug. Oops. Try that again. Let's set up our creasing. Z modeler. I'm set this to edge loop complete. We'll do that one as well. And then we'll set our crease level accordingly. And now I'm ready to turn my bug back on and see where the discrepancies are. Right, okay, so for this gap here, what I want to do is, whoops, let me go to my move brush. I just want to scoot this, these inside verts out. I turn off dynamic subdivision. We can see what's going on a little better. And with that, we start to fill it in. So you can see I'm getting a little bit crowded down here, so I'm just going to move that up. And then for the rest of these, yeah, just do something like this. Doesn't really matter what this, where they ultimately end up, just as so long as they're crashed through that surface. So we get that looking a little bit fuller. And I could even do something comparable to this over here. Or as an option C, I can just fill it with another piece of geometry, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. But I like this little circular thing here, and I think what I want to do is pull it out a bit. So if I do that, I might be able to stick some kind of like little antenna or tube or something kind of popping out. So maybe that's what we'll do. That'll be kind of interesting. And you can see I got a crease here that I didn't want. And that happens all the time if you've got kind of odd geo like this. When you do um, edge loop complete, like it could be this, you can see it goes all the way around, blah, blah, blah. But it's really easy to fix. I'm just gonna go to crease, set it to edge for the target, and then we'll just deselect all the stuff that I don't actually want to be creased. This looks a little strange. Let's go ahead and just kind of even that out a bit. And I want to reinforce that change there. Just make it feel like there's more going on. So we can kind of push this edge in. Maybe it feels a little bit like an eye socket or something. And I've got this edge here. And if I just kind of pack these edges together, it might get a little bit more noticeable that there's something going on. Around the eye here. And then I'm just gonna transition it nice and easy into that. Let's try to keep some of these thicknesses a little more consistent. Maybe that's too much. It's 
Let's take a look at it in the context of everything else. I'm going to go ahead and sculpt this stuff back. Trying to grab this new subtool that we just created and it is not letting me. There we go. Okay, now I want to adjust some of the roundness. Get it a little closer to the boundary there. Looks like we got a little gap in the forehead area, so I'm going to just Grab this guy and bring it down a bit. Try to keep that gap there either the same or a smooth transition over the overall form. So there's our clean face coming into form. So I have these like potentially like circular features here. Let's kind of push that a little bit. All right, so now what I'm going to do is we're just going to throw some cylinders in there just to kind of feel feel what that's all about. So let's see, which of these brushes am I not going to need? Ah, look at that. That's what I was looking for. So this is insert multi-mesh primitives. And we have all these options for geometry that we can crash in. So there's insert cylinder, no edge, inner pipe. Well, I'll just go with the basics here. And I'm going to select my original geometry. Doesn't like something. Okay, so this is multiple subdivisions, which is completely cool. I'm going to go ahead and actually bump it up to the highest subdivision and we'll just delete lower. And I'm going to do some kind of an operation like this. In this case, I'm going to go to the other gizmo. And we'll kind of scoop it in. Make a little room for it. Let me just get this out of the way, or I'll, I'll actually I'll move this one, this piece up, something like that. Maybe we connect that stuff. Very possible that there's not quite enough geo in my original low poly pass to handle this. And if that is ever the case, you can always just retop it again. I mean, what we're talking about, ten minutes. It's always better to do it right. All right, so now we've got this geometry in here. Unfortunately, it's not very pretty. It's got these poles on it, but I think I can work with it. I'm going to need to split it off though, and you can see it is unmasked. Yeah, it's unmasked, whereas the um, the base geo there is masked. So I'm going to go to split. We'll go to split unmasked points, and now we get a new subtool right here. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and. We use our uh, Z modeler to get rid of some of these edges. Keep that top one there. I don't know how many of these you can see. You could also just create your own cylinder. Any number of ways to do that. I'm going to put this on its own polygroup and then I can add an inflate to increase polygroups. I'm going to increase this top edge. Edge of complete. And as long as we don't do anything with this set of faces here with the triangle in the middle, we should be okay. It shouldn't look too, too noticeable. We can add some 
some more interesting stuff uh, in the next video if we want. And so now we have something that feels like we've got this organic bug geo. See, I really wish I had an extra edge over here that I could try to match that curvature with a bit, but anyway, it is what it is. I'm actually not going to, even though I said it was 10 minutes. That's an extra video, and who wants to sit through that? You guys get the point. Cool. All right. More to come.